Hi everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Science at Home. Are you bored today? Are you stuck at home just like me? No worries, we have lined up 15 science experiments for you to do in 5 minutes. That is about 20 seconds for each experiment. All these experiments you can do using the materials at your house, okay? So without further ado, I will start in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! For the first experiment, we are going to use some milk and a few drops of food colouring. Carefully put a little bit of dishwashing soap in the middle and watch what happens. Whoa! Isn't that cute? Isn't that cool? What is going on here? So the dishwashing soap actually reduces the surface tension of the milk and causes the milk to spread out like this. Alright, for our next experiment, we are going to balance two fork and a toothpick like this on the edge of the cup. Just like this. You have to do it really slowly and carefully. Ta-da! This is how you can balance three, these three things on top of the cup. Alright? For our next experiment, we are going to use these two soda cans, which I believe you can find this at home. Alright, so now I will try to make some very strange sound. Listen carefully. Isn't that loud? This is because when I blow really, really hard, I cause the cans to vibrate real fast and it produces a very strange sound, just like an elephant sound. Alright, for the next experiment, we are going to produce sound using a straw. You cut the straw into shorter length and then blow. That sounds like something screaming, like farting, isn't it? Alright. So for the next one, we will try to balance the ping pong ball using straw. The ping pong ball flirt is mid air because of Bernoulli principle. Alright, let's move on to the next experiment. For this experiment, we are going to use some balloons. There is one nail here and what happens if I pop the balloon? Uh, it pops! What about I have many nails like this? Will it pop? Let's try. It didn't pop because all the pressure is actually evenly distributed between all these nails. Alright, so for our next experiment, we are going to use a blue balloon and a bamboo stick. Now, I am going to carefully push this inside one end. It went in! And then see if I can carefully make it out on the other end. There you go! This is because the ends of the balloons are actually thicker than the side of the balloon so that it didn't make the balloon burst. Okay, for the next experiment, I have a green color balloon and a bottle with some vinegar here. Inside the balloon, I have some baking soda. The balloon expands real fast and it becomes very big. This is the evidence that actually there is some gas produced inside this bottle. So what gas is it? It's actually carbon dioxide. I will remove this balloon and we will take a look at the carbon dioxide gas. I have some candles here and I will carefully pour the gas on top of the candle. The candle extinguished because carbon dioxide does not support combustion. And you see I have one more candle left here in which I will bring up my yellow color balloon. Inside this yellow color balloon, there is some water. Okay, I will try to burn this balloon. The balloon didn't break because the water absorbed the heat from the balloon and caused the balloon uh, and did not burn the balloon. What if I have a balloon with air but no water inside? Will it pop? It popped the balloon! Let's go to the kitchen! Inside this can, there are a few drops of water and I will heat this up until the water boils. As I heat the water, it will boil and then it will cause the air pressure inside to become very, very high. But this is a bowl of ice water and when I put the can inside the ice water, it will cause the air pressure to drop very fast and we will see what will happen to the bottle. Like this! Oh, did you see that? The bottle actually crushed. Because of the atmospheric pressure that is very high, it will cause the bottle to crush into like this. Alright. Let's move to the next experiment, which I have a plastic bottle here with a little bit of water. I will shake it a bit and then I will do this. I will compress it really, really hard. Like this. As I compress it, I can feel it actually heats up a little bit in my palm. Okay? Now, 
carefully, I will open this bottle here and then we will see what happens. Did you see the white color mist coming out? It's actually condensation of water vapor. Alright, for our next experiment, we have two eggs here and I will make the eggs drop into the jar using the principle of inertia. In three, two, one! The egg actually drops inside! The other egg doesn't drop, but it's okay, you can try this at home. Alright, now I think I'm very tired. Let me just take a cup of water. Oh, sorry, I forgot we are still doing the experiment, right? Okay, now I have one cut over here and I will do this. Ta da! It didn't fall because the air pressure outside is actually greater than the pressure inside, so the, the, it can hold up the water inside. Alright, I believe that's all the experiments, is it? Um, no? We have one more at the balcony, let's go! I have a tea bag lined up here inside the bowl and if you open up the tea bag, you will get something like this. Okay, carefully put this inside a cup and then we will light it on fire. As it starts to heat up, it actually makes the air surrounding become hot. When the air becomes hot, we know that hot air actually rises up in the air. So it is going to flirt up on top. Alright, so never mind, you can try this at home and it definitely can fly up very, very high. Okay, so I believe that's all the experiment. Let's stop the timer. Oh, I finished it. I finished it off at 6 minutes 21 seconds. I believe you can beat my result at home. Alright, see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for watching our video. If you enjoy our content, please like it and share it to your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you will receive a notification when we release the next video. Please also follow all our social medias. Thank you. See you next time. Three, two, one, action. Hi everybody, are you being stuck at home and feeling bored? No worries, today we are going to do some experiments. Oh, I don't know how to Today we are going to... Hi everybody, welcome to the first episode of Science at Home. Today we are going to do 15 science experiments in 5 minutes. That is going to be... <laughs> ah! Dig some dishwashing liquid and put it in the middle. <laughs> Let me get my cut here. Now I will do this. The water actually stays in the cup. <laughs> Three, two, one. Down into the cup. In three, two, one. Ready <laughs> now? In three, two, one. Oops, sorry. Let's do it again. Okay. Okay, you can try this out.